installed Ubuntu as you can see Ubuntu 10.0.4 and this is going to be a detailed review of Ubuntu 10.04 I'm just going to say 10 Ubuntu 10 so it's quicker um, so as you can see it has changed the default background has changed to a pinky theme and like Microsoft Windows XP Zoom theme black theme it's very it's got a black interface we now have four desktops instead of two which we previously had in Ubuntu 9 releases the time synced with my time down there as you can see David so we've now got more options for the that's for the chat so if I register a chat account we can click away busy available so that's very very useful that um, ah so we that's an extra feature here we have the shutdown area where we can click log out hibernate restart applications we've got all the same accessories less games there was more games in Ubuntu 9 but I'm sure there's plenty out there to download graphics GIMP is not included anymore the GNU image editor that's not there anymore but we've got fspot photo manager I'm not sure what that is internet firefox i am client terminal server client and a bit torrent to download legal stuff we've got evolution mail and calendar for mail office presentation spreadsheet and word process not the full suite anymore and a dictionary sound and video movie player that's new video editor pit iv video editor i've never heard of that Rhythm box music player, I think that's new, and sound recorder. And Ubuntu software center, that's new. In places, it's basically the same to open your files, so if we open up music, see what the interface is like. I apologize for this being very slow, because it's in a virtual machine. But otherwise, here we go. Ah, we've got the black theme applied up here as well. The the task bar, the toolbar up here has changed significantly. The same selector along the left which is in Mac and Windows. And the same file viewer. Just load the documents. Up here it has changed a lot. Instead of being on the right, it's now on the left like Mac OS X and um, we've got an arrow to minimize and an arrow to maximize and an X which I really like that feature on the left it's a lot better than on the right like Windows so that's very good so we'll exit that if we open up the internet Firefox hasn't changed Ubuntu the un Ubuntu Google has changed as you can see history so there again we've got that there so if we go into properties the right click is the same but in the nice black theme load properties or change appearance preferences so let's see what themes there is right we've got this one so as we can see they show up on the right but I think because it's still in release candidate they will appear on the left so some nice themes there there's the clear lux one which was in Ubuntu 9 backgrounds ah we've got much more backgrounds now which is a lot better because in Ubuntu 9 it just come with the standard so that's a very nice feature visual effects extra so you can apply that if you've got a faster graphics card but I'm not 
So if we have a look for screensavers, see what nice screensavers there is now. So we go into preferences, appearance, or even, yeah, I think it's appearance. I'm not entirely sure because I think I've just been on that. to load. Now I've been on that so let's exit that. Go into system. Administration. All the same tools which I really like the Ubuntu administration tools. Very easy to use. So if we just log off and I'll show you the login screen. Exit Firefox. So we click this button now. Log out. log out again so it's logging out so it is the 29th of April today and it's the release candidate so there's the log out sound if you heard it so it has changed, we've got the background which can be changed, a new login feature which is nice. So you click your name and then you type in your password and press login. So that's just about it for this video, um, please comment, rate and subscribe and check out the stolen video of Ubuntu. So thanks for watching again, tech at google.com, check us on twitter and www rounded tech .co .nr, the new website